Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Last time, Kazuichi forced Hajime to be a part of his plans to crash the girls' beach party. And everything was going according to plan, but then we come to the beach house and we notice that, um, somebody was here. It was Mahiru. And she is, in fact, dead. This one hurt me bad when I saw this happen, like, on my first playthrough. I I was so upset. I was so upset. But, hey, you know, like, you, you can't get too attached to people because then things like this happen. But still, like, this one, ah, oh, man, I was just so upset. Yeah. Yep, the ultimate photographer is deceased and one of our friends did it so anyway Mahiru or sorry Mahiru Koizumi the ultimate photographer she had an unyielding force of personality but she was actually very good at taking care of people and she was always straightforward toward us and toward herself she was always facing forward she was that kind of person why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Why did this happen to her? The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it. Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? You're excited about going to the beach. We we're having a lot of fun. But why? Are you kidding? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me. I obviously don't know what's going on either. Oh. Huh? Um. Uh, um. <laughs> She's out of it. <laughs> Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry and get the others. Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time it passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return around the time I realized that the others were already here. Huh? What, what the hell is this? Ah! Why, Mahiru? The girls are standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. Something like this. For, for heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling toward the beach house. Until a voice stopped them. Hold it. Uh, hold on a sec. Hmm. Those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. Beneath. See? You know, the footprints in front of that door. There are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? Oh, that's, that's Shiaki talking. My bad. There are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. So don't step on them. Huh? I wonder, could I have seen those if I looked down when I ran here? I wouldn't put it past this game to throw that, because they do like to throw subtle things at you and you could even see like hints and stuff but with that one I never really paid attention huh okay anyway if you mean evidence Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement right after a certain amount of time we'll hold a class trial what the? Uh, another class trial you serious Th then are you saying this is that's right that's right one of you guys killed her! Oh, Get killed? That's impossible! Hey, uh, hey! It's not like an accident or s something. Lies. If you guys think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words, that also counts as a legitimate murder! Though such deaths fall into a gray area, on this island, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, Dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. 
Well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. That would mind me taste such good care of people. What's this? Oh, speaking of which. I don't like there it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Yeah. Well, fine. I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. No Jeez, way. it's not my fault. Huh? And whose fault is it, you ask? Yeah. To find out, we hold the class trial. So... Let's begin already. No whining. Just begin already. It's the Monokuma file. Okay, I shall pass it out. This should start to feel familiar. Do your best. Now then, do your best very best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. <laughs> class trial, investigation. This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Hey. Then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> Th that, I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monami's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. <laughs> yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but I can only hear about three times that of a normal person. So basically, so basically you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> I'm just the worst. The powerless reality is the worst. Hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? We, do, do we have to do it again? The, that cruel thing? We have to do it again? Why? I cannot believe it. Mahiru was killed by one of us. Damn it. Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial? Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason my hero was killed. Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Cause it's bad. Cause we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. Well? The killer has their reasons, I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru too. It's really all Monokuma's fault, I understand that too. But, even so, killing. we should never forgive I'll never allow it. killing. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But, that's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us to all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do then it. let's do this. Perhaps Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If everyone's doing it, I will do it too. But, 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 please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also, I will go tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Then let's begin. Who killed Mahiru Koizumi? Why was she killed? <gasps> we gotta find out and solve this already. That's right. We have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. <laughs> It's investigation time. First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. The victim is Mahiru Koizumi. Estimated of death, uh, estimated time of death rather, is around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. 
around 3 p.m. That's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then, if we had just gone to the beach house instead. No, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then, I'm gonna find out the truth behind my hero's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. We got that truth bullet. All right. First things first though, jump cut, cause I've recorded essentially the entirety of this chapter in one sitting and I need a little break right now. Excuse me. All right, and with the pretty long break out the way, time to investigate what happened to my wife. Let's start with Ibuki. She might not be in the best state of mind to talk to right now. Th this is too weird. Something this weird should only happen in song lyrics. Okay, yeah, you're very helpful here. Sonya, what's going on? Perhaps. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. However. But what she really wanted, she probably wanted to spend time with all of us peacefully without something like this happening. Mm-hmm. Kazuichi, hmm. you found the body, right? Hmm, that's weird. What do you mean? Uh. Well, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a large variety of drinks. Man. Well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, so just drop it. What the heck? You started it. All right, Pekko, you're here too. I will never forgive killing. Hmm. However, Chiaki seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. That... It's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone f would forgive something like this. I guess you're right. How suspicious. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? You know the footprints from earlier? They're in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Well? Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road. But it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beach side door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because my hero's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Huh? Now that you mention it, Pekko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Well. Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe. Is that really true? But still. But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Huh? Then, whose footprints are these? It appears. It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. Footprints on the beach has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It took me long to, like, determine that. Okay. Let's examine the body. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mahiru I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahiru. But we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slap both my hands on my cheeks and face Mahiru's body one more time. Should they not have Mikan present? Even though it's kind of obvious what really happened here, but still. <clears throat> you know, second opinion and all that. My hero is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto this door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe my hero tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor. They're streaked, as if she crawled through them. 
So, she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. Monokuma file has been updated. Might as well check out the update. Yeah, there we go. Right there. Okay. Um, there are no other conspicuous in, uh, external injuries and no trace of foreign substance, such as drugs. The blood stain on the floor had streaks leading to the roadside door as if my hero had crawled through it. Okay. Anything else? <clears throat> okay, wow. Actually, a lot. Hmm? What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um, a gaudy mask? Uh, ah, that mask! You've seen this? Sunwitch Esper Ito. It is a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country. An anime that has a viewership of over 90%? Is Sonya's country really alright? It cannot C be. Could it be? Was this mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. I if that is true, could it be? Could it be what? I am sorry! Uh, um, please give me some time! For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It appears. It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm. For Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. Wonder what she knows. Pretty anime girl mask has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, I see we have different definitions of beauty. Wait, that, that, is, that is what they said, right? Oh, pretty. Yeah, yeah, we have different definitions of what pretty is. Okay. According to Monica Mofile, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiru with a blunt object. That blunt object. It's this metal bat, right? Huh? This metal bat. Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Central murder case. Huh? Well? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. That girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat. Just like Mahiru. Hey, hey. Did you did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about that metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it, but did you play it too? Then I'm sure you know this, but the case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case. I think. In order to solve the mystery behind my hero's death, you probably need to solve that game's mystery too. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with a game over, but were you able to beat it? Mm. Eh, I'm not some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. So, what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? Can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But, for now, I should focus on this investigation. So, it's okay to say that this metal bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? Well, I guess we are, because it's been added to the truthful section of your handbook. Alrighty then. Yeah, just a lot to examine. Let's go left to right then. And by left to right, I mean right to left. Sorry, my dyslexia is kicking in. So, this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. <laughs> That's right! The shower is being repaired, so water won't come out! But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible, too! The shower is out of order, then isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry! Uh, I'm sorry! Just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me. So I never got around to fixing it! What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? You're so Anyways, evil. it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. Ooh. Hello, uh, your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice. 
You must have read my mind. Th think what you want of me. I've already given up. But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh well, anyway, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. But I guess I should check the inside too. Shower room has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. I guess I might as well check the inside of the shower room too. All right, this is a really nice, really spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it as a dressing room. But changing in the beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. Really not much to examine here. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, toilet. There's a toilet, but you really can't use it as a step stool. Kane? Damn it. Hmm, guess no one's in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. Yeah, we got the monitor and the camera, but we also have a window. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off it. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window, if that's the case. Yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. Hey, Dragon Ball Fighters updated. What? What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Leave it to me! Alright, I got it! I'll pitch in to help you out. Huh? Now then. Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Pitch in and help? Feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. I'll beat you if you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> don't worry, my panties are clean. Th thank you for stressing that. Th thank you. Uh, I see. That's good. I let out a deep sigh and then bent over under the window. Right. As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. <laughs> You're really struggling that hard? Okay, wait, no, I, I gotta check. I, I, I'm i just curious, cause she can't be that heavy. She's a freaking gymnast. I mean, a top heavy one, yeah, 123 pounds. I could carry that on my back. Come on, Haja, man, how, how much do you weigh? 147. Okay, so yeah, you are kind of like 20 pounds heavier than her. God. Dang, you're skinny, but still, come on, that shouldn't be too bad. He's really skinny. I mean, five foot eight, I guess, but holy crap, all right. Hey, your balance sucks. Make sure your stance is wider. Did they get bigger? I, okay. You, you're a lot heavier than I expected. Yeah, because I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. T.M. freaking I. Also, what kind of life are you living? I shouldn't have asked. So, how's the window? Let's see. Hmm. You... Let's see. Did, they, that's did they really just pick and shoot? Okay, let's see. Hmm, I see, I see. So that's what happened. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. With the Kane on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. 
Then it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. Kai jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how are they able to reach that window? Hmm, hmm. even if I jump, I can't really reach it. <laughs> but if two people work together like this, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? But even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as a step stool would still be inside. Like... But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? So... Yeah, like... I got it. A freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls no problem, right? Just as I thought, it looks difficult to go in and out through that window. Hi. What the heck? They even took the time to lend you my wisdom! Pissed You're the one who off. said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. You. That's such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw are my panties. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh well, it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. Iron barred window has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. Alright. Let's go ahead and get on out of here before things get even more awkward. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Uh, do, 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 okay, we can't examine that. Bloodstain, yeah, why not? There's bloodstains on the floor, and they're streaked as if she crawled through them. They're probably streaked from when my hero tried to run away during the attack. So, she used all her energy to crawl away and took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. This closet is open. It's half open, to be exact. The last time I came here, that wasn't the case. It's a little suspicious. Should probably investigate inside here too. This is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. But there's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person could stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Had to turn the volume down on the laptop because Discord notifications, they always pop up when I'm recording. All right, well, only three things to examine. Shelves. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies too. Hmm, there's not much else that could be related to the incident. Oh, we got wetsuits right there. We got shelves over here too. Uh, there's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves, even surfboards and a surfboard case. But they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf, and some boards have been left out instead of being put in the case. And there's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. And then what do we have down here? A gummy? There's something on the floor. It's the yellow thing, it's a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. It's connected to the incident that someone dropped this while they were inside the closet? The old gummy has been added to the truthfulest section of your handbook. Um, I guess that's the only thing that caught my eye inside this closet. Alright, let's leave. Okay, we what else we got? What else we got? Uh, stuff over here, sure, why not? The fridge. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Do people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or colored. Okay, alright, alright. Um, from right to left, that looks like some uh, Fago orange, then we got Sprite, then we got Mellow Yellow, and then we have uh, like some Ever... Wait, is it Ever Fresh? Is that the juice brand? Like, like some Ever Fresh... Uh, Fruit Punch. I was about to say Everclear, but I think that's alcohol, and that would not be welcome in a school environment. Or a school trip environment. Alright. They look unhealthy. That's what you gather from that. Like, the drinks look unhealthy. Okay. Yeah, take a look at the trash can. Why not? Maybe there's a clue inside this trash can. That's what I thought, but... There's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess it's not that easy, huh? 
And yet you're still putting it in the truth bullet section. Oh, okay, fine. Guess I finished investigating all I can. But there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mahiru got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat. It's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That, there's no way that's just a coincidence, right? Actually, In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. A missing link. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time. And that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. I should ask her about it. Metal Bat has been updated. All right, well, let's check out the update then. Here we go. Okay, that was a little weird. It was going up and down for a bit. Uh, the murder weapon used in the Twilight Syndrome murder case was a Metal Bat 2. All right, let's talk to the ultimate gamer. Hey, Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I finished investigating once through. Yep. Then let's go. Go? So... You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. So, let's go. Yeah, you're right. With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never, I never expected that person to be waiting there. Well, look who's untied. Why, well, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. N Nagito? <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well, well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. <sighs> More importantly, did you hear? Apparently Mahiru got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing. But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right. No matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for my hero. This is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Mm. Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez, as usual, he's acting so crazy he's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about my hero? Now, now. You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monami. It's Monami. Yes, it was me. You? Why'd you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Um. D did I do bad? I just wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. Plus, Monokuma would hold everybody there at the site until, you know, everybody was there. And if Nagito wasn't going to show up, y'all would just be waiting there indefinitely. And, you know, it's not like Monokuma can really go inside the old building, but then again he did to give everybody the Monokuma file when Byakuya died, so I guess nothing would be stopping uh, Monokuma from going to collect Nagito, because he kind of would do that too, you know, he did that in the first game, where Toko didn't want to come out of her room, you know, he just went there, dragged her kicking and screaming. He didn't do that for uh, Kyoko though, but I guess they wanted to build up the suspicion towards her that she might have actually committed the crime that chapter. So yeah, I don't know what they would have done in this case then. Hey, Monica would probably would have got him. There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. But fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Now, now. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monami is making a valid point too. You have no right to say that. But, but now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for Mahiru, right? That's right. 
Th that's right. That's why everyone must work, well, must work together and have Monokuma. Enough. Enough already. Just go away already. <laughs> Understood. Now I can tell you two, hurry up and get lost. Man. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. True ending? Now then. So, although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I'll try to be useful in my own way. Hmm. Who do you want to be useful to, the killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I'll always be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, the situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! Hey, hey. Hajime, let's just move on and start the game. You're right. Okay, well. Playing it in the daytime now. Even if I do play this, I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. So y'all really about to visit Game Facts for an arcade cabinet game? How lame can you be? Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? Huh? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well? You get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Want me to tell you? You want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too. You know, that thing that was displayed on the game over screen. Is that... Down five. Damn. <clears throat> You're talking about the message that says, down five? That's right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. It means you have to press down five times. Then the hidden command is... Yep. You just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. Just as I expected of the ultimate gamer. Even though, technically, Nagito was also able to figure it out. And whoever got the grand prize for beating the game, too. So, yeah. Nope. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just... You either get it or you don't. Thank you. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Yay, Monokuma Soft! Warning, this game is a little work of non-fiction and resemblance to real person living or dead is purely intentional. I need to press down five times on the title screen. Alright, let's do this. Open a new door to Twilight Central murder case. Please press down five times with your own hands. Fine. One, two, a three, four, five. The screen changed. She was right. Yep. This is the real game. Twilight Central murder case is truth edition. I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. When I didn't even know this until I was like looking up some extra info but uh yeah twilight syndrome is an actual like series that spike chunsoff had back in the day so yeah it's a nice little reference if you get that i guess you know like they're bringing up their own history just for this game so yeah neat little tidbit and yeah they were all like i think they were like mystery solving uh visual novel things could be wrong i i should look it up actually Okay, I will. We about to be professional up in here. Yep, uh, Twilight Syndrome was a horror-themed visual novel slash adventure video game series released exclusively in Japan. And Goichi Suda directed the first two games in a spinoff, Moonlight Syndrome. And yeah, Spike Chunsoft made it when they were originally known as Spike. So that's cool. All right, I'll st it'll start if I press the options button, right? Now then, let's begin Twilight Central Murder Case. Please press the option buttons with your own hand. Option button with your own hands. Too many plurals, too many plurals. We open with a specific murder case. 
a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, a tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first day and third day, you'll be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day, when it all began. Slow scrolling text, you would never be able to see that on an arcade cabinet back in the day. Alright, time for me to butcher some, uh, voices again. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're gonna go home late because we have to wait for Slowpoke Girl A. Come on, Girl B, you don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. Uh, I'm not your friend? What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. Nasty, trashy pig shit? Wow, that's rude. Taha! The way girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking to collect, uh, would get sick to their stomachs, eh? Huh? Is girl E here yet? Uh, apparently she forgot something. She told us just to wait a little longer, eh? She can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen? And yeah, I know I had, like, girl B as, you know, like, not British last time, but screw it, we're gonna have two, like, similar sounding people, British and English, come at me. S stolen? You don't know? A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. <laughs> you should be careful, girl A. A chubby weakling like you makes the perfect prey. Hey! Stop it! Girl A is getting really scared. Yeah, it's fun to bully Girl A. What was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. Sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go! Alright, well, can, can, can I move now? Thank you. Look at that run. Also, why is that skirt riding so freaking high? Huff. Puff. Huff. Girl E, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now. And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? Eh? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right. It's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there, eh? Um, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a schlechter feeling about this. I think feeling is a feminine noun in... German, so yeah, I was right to say Schlechte. I hope I was correct. Anyway, I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. Then let's open it right away, eh? Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Huh, m me? Come on, hurry, hurry. All right, well, fine. Let's go ahead, open the door. All right, well, fine. Just gonna go ahead, walk over here, and <gasps> oh no! The fish tank's broken. Why? Uh, no. Okay, yeah, but enough about that. So someone's laying on the floor. Th this 
She's not laying down. She's dead. D dead That's impossible. Why? Yeah. L lower your voice. They might still be nearby. N nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murder day? Seriously, shut up. What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? I see. So that's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. Escape route? Could it be? The broken window? Ah, the window was broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. S someone probably locked the music room door from the inside and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the window? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out of the window, eh? But if they wanted to run away, they could have opened the door. Why did they have to break it? They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window was tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Broken fish tank has been added to the truth bullet section of your IRL handbook. It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway. But is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you'd have to lo either lock it from inside the music room or use the lounge key. Oh, when I went to get the music room key, I it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have had time to return the, the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside. Mr. Killer was inside the music room, eh? Also, to get outside from the music room, they need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by. Which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Killer's escape route has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who's stuck inside the school grounds. Huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then... The pervert who stole girl Lee's school swimsuit also murdered that girl over there, eh? They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resisting. So they frankly tried to get away, broke the window, and escaped? And that's a pretty big jump. You know, the R word, but okay, fine. Anyway, stolen school swimsuit has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It, isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this. The killer might still be around, too. That's bad. Uber bad. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's that's girl C and she's Canadian. Uh, that's bad. Uber bad. We better hurry up and run, eh? I mean, but Uber is a German word. But no, we gotta stick with that. We gotta stick with it. Okay, but, but don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. Yeah, it'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just lock the door, leave everything how it was. You're being real calm about murder. Uh, hey, please, wait, don't leave me. Third day. Girl D! Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're going to confess your love to me. Huh? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom as I was going home. And I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think? These broken vase pieces mean. The sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What? What is this? I I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. S seriously, I don't know anything. 
It's okay. I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girly? Uh, are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're a freunde, right? Y you didn't say anything either. I n knew, you know. I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography cl uh, club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Girlie, don't tell me you... That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking shit about how she'd target me next time, so... I felt a sudden rage, and before I knew it, I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness, but things would have been worse if she woke up, so... That's why I had to do something about it. The thoughts It's not my fault. Or yours. It's all her fault. Ah! Girly! Oh crap, guy F. Uh Okay, fine, I guess we can do a bad French accent. Um <clears throat> Wait, how the hell does French even go? It's been a hot minute, which is a shame because I took the class. Yeah, whatever. That bitch. Girl E, was it? Yeah, we'll just go with this voice. Word is, she was with her on the day of the incident. Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is... Could it be? The sound of breaking glass was actually this? If it wasn't, why'd she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch! What the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that... I will never... I will never forgive her. Yay! I still see why this game got a really low meta score, though. But Hey, at least we beat it. Looks like... This is the end. Yeah, time to scratch that game off on Backloggery. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incident's first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. Yep. Now you're filling in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey, Chiaki, what do you think of the characters in this game? Um, you mean like Girl A and Girl B? Their names make no sense and they have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. See? While you were talking, it looks like the ending staff roll started. Staff roll? Perhaps. You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it. Probably. What I want to know is on the staff roll? Alright, who we got? Producer, Monokuma. Director, Monokuma. Supervisor, Monokuma. Plan scenario, Monokuma. Programmer, Monokuma. What are you programming in? Graphics, Monokuma. Sound, Monokuma. Cast, Sumiki Koizumi, Hiyoko, Miyoda, Sato, Kazuryu, and... Kazuryu? Producer Supreme, Monokuma. W wait just now. See? See? Didn't I tell you? What do you want to know is going to be on there. Miracle! Yay! Congrats! Miracle, congratulations! You finally have beaten Twilight Syndrome Murder Case! <laughs> now that you guys played this game through to the end, you should already know. That's right! That game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. I is that true? By the way, Nonfiction means an original story based on historical fact or records. Hey, answer my question. 
But even if this is nonfiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. The school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life? Isn't that wonderful? At any rate, congratulations! Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game, I won't give it to you. Ending prize? There's only one ending prize and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Too bad. <laughs> How disappointing. Did you say ending prize? Hmm. Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Aww. Man, I was too late. If I'd known something like this was going to happen, I would have played the game sooner. Ending prize has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. But the ending prize isn't the problem, it's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. This is I thought, so it's connected to that this time too. But is it really... is it really true? We were already living our school lives and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then, what did they do to us? You... It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Monica would probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. That this game is non-fiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? You really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. Um, You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? And I'll go too. That's right. If I get some information from them, I might find out about something. About the mystery behind Mahiru's death. About whether this game is true or not. And, we really had our school memories taken away. Hey, hey. Then let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Leave it to me. Uh, also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see, thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go. Hello there. Well, okay, that actually took me by surprise. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. The time is too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Ah, so you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, we must think simil uh, similarly, right? Man. No matter. Uh, oh my god. Why can't I read today? No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys? It's okay, just make your point. Well... There was an airport on the first island, right? I told him to meet up there. Them? You don't know? Why the characters appeared in Twilight Central murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? Bye now. If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'm going ahead and wait for you guys. What should we do? Hmm. I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Alrighty, so it's how y'all moving so fast? Okay, so the names in the game were Miyota and Koizumi and Hiyoko. That's not a last name. And Sato. I don't. I don't know who Sato is supposed to be. And did I already say Sumiki because Sumiki was in there. And uh, Fuyu. No, Kuzuriyu and Kuzuriyu. Interesting. Interesting indeed. We're actually doing something here at the airport. Amazing, right? I really hope I'm not missing out on stuff. Wait a minute. I think I'm missing out on something. Uh, uh, a hidden Monokuma. Give me a minute. But I think it's going to lock me into going to the airport. Yeah. 
Yep, I'm locked in to going to the airport, so, uh... My bad, I might have missed something. I hope not, but I'm... The more I think about the upcoming areas and how there was already a Monokuma at the airport in Chapter 1, I think I might have overlooked something at the beach house, and I can't really go back to that just yet. So, uh, here's hoping. And also, before I forget, because I don't think I'm able to purchase skills. Oh, wait, no, no, I think I am able to purchase skills on the, uh, like, prepare for the trial thing. But just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and spend all these freaking, uh, <laughs> hope fragments I have. Just going through to, like, see which ones are most effective, though. Yeah, slightly increases the influence gauge. Slightly increases the focus gauge. And they cannot be combined with those other influences. Lost in thought, slightly increases the time limit for each phase. Yeah, I might actually want this. Because, uh, I'm already seeing that mean ain't playing around. A charisma increases the influence gauge recovery when correct answers are chosen. Effective on making choices or selecting a truth bullet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a casual. We're getting that too. Cool and compose. Steadily. Oh, slightly steadies your aim. Effective during the nonstop debate. Cannot be combined with tranquility. I think I'm fine on that regard. We got upshift and downshift making a return. Reduces your aiming speed. And increases your aiming speed. So it depends on, like, if you're better with, like, really lax aiming or really precise aiming. Trigger happy. Decreases the delay between firing truth bullets. Effective during non-stop debate. I don't think that would be useful too much. Maybe. I don't know. Algorithm's making a return, but I think it plays a lot differently this time around. Uh, increases the speed of memorizing a statement. Yeah. I'm about to make, like, this super easy for me. We got Neural Liberation. Focus gauge decreases at a slower rate. During concentration and fever time. That is incredibly broken. But then what are the other ones? We have Delusion. Influence gauge recovers over time during concentration and fever time. That's broken, too! And I'm going to get that. Um, okay, but then we also have Melodia's voice making a return. Increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. I keep saying, like, oh, this is making a return. But I think a lot of these are, like, returning from the first game. There's just different things they're doing now. Vocabulary increases bullet capacity. Effective during the PTA. I'll keep that one in mind. Ambidextrousness allows you to lock on to two statements at once. Effective during the... PTA. Okay, I know I said I might want neural liberation, or not neural liberation, a uh, delusion, because recover my influence gauge, but uh, ambidextrous can put in the work. And I think I'll be able to get through this chapter just fine without it. Mood maker, easier to shift mood to your favor. Excellent blade, sharpness increases by two. I might have to get that, actually. Fine Sword. Sharpness increases by five. These don't seem proportional in what they do. Okay, fine. Clock Up. Increases max speed. Oh, and that's something we haven't dealt with yet, so... I mean, I won't even think about getting these skills until we deal with Logic Dive. Increases turning power. And Moon Salt. Increases jumping power. Then again, do you even need those? Well, I don't know what mean logic dive is like just yet, so hey, we'll wait and see. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting fine sort. I have trouble with the rebuttal showdowns, okay? I'm going to need that. Downshift and upshift, I don't need. Alright, so, uh, this trial is about to be real simplistic for me. Oh, my pet, my pet, my pet. I, I, I gotta check on my pet. Pet! Cleaning up after my pet. All right. So now let's go interview some people at the airport. About to be on our TSA grind, only a little more competent. Hi, yo. Well, I mean, that's not even an insult. You can even look at the facts. Like, 
I forgot, it might have been last year or the year before, where it was like <laughs> they were running tests of the TSA, like just trying to, like, it might have been the FBI or the CIA. I forgot what organization did it, but they were like running tests uh, for the TSA at like various airports uh, just to see if like they were on top of their security game and like just trying to sneak fake contraband past them and I believe they had a 22% success rate which is not good at all so uh yeah we're gonna be a little more competent than them here all right uh Hajime over here Mikan Ibuki Hiyoko are all here the names on the staff roll for Twilight Central murder case were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji. Okay, well now they just changed that because I'm not insane. I saw what the credits said, yo. Miyota, Sato, Kazuryu. Wow. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Sorry. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. What? Huh? It's okay to be absent? I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Execute it. I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lie. <laughs> a lie? <laughs> you tricked us. What the, what the heck? Jeez. Fine, then I'm leaving. Wait. Can you wait until we finish our business with you? Right, Hajime? The, this is like, I'm on the same team as Nagito. No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. All right. Hey, Ibuki, can I ask you something? Why you? Bring it on. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? Aww. Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. If Book is a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy, there's a character like that in the game too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiru? <laughs> huh? You mean that in a perverted way? No, in a normal way. Aww. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mahiru was... Hmm... -hmm. Ah, when I asked my hero this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointing face. A uh, disappointing face? I see. Yeah, but I disappointment see. varies depending on the person Ibuki associated with uh, department store rooftops. Let's say folks on Mahiru. That's totally it turns it. out Mahiru had some business too. She wanted to invite me to that instead. She says something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... Um, do you know what she meant by everyone? Nope, I didn't ask. I see. Mahiru invited Ibuki. Why? Alright, then. Wrong thing. My aim is off. Okay, maybe I do need upshift or downshift. Hey, you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Central Murder Case, Mikan? Um, no. Since we weren't going to play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow and I panic instantly. Her timid voice. I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Hey, hey. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mahiru? Uh, relationship with Mahiru? Uh, I first met her um when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but... Uh, oh, can it be? Did Mahiru hate me? Uh, that's definitely it. She hated me! She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Huh? Invite? <laughs> uh, um, Mahiru invited me this morning. This morning? She, she looked very serious, and she was wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'll reschedule for another day. <laughs> but if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened! Oh, she's crying. My hero invited Mikan. 
Why? I see. I see. Looks like we obtained some pretty valuable testimonies based on that. Seems like Mahiru also beat that game. Why? Why do you know that? You don't know? If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. But still... But in her case, it was much more serious. Probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. Mm. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mahiru would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Nagito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? Huh? What? I remember. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Oh, why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. How mean. Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. No, that's wrong. That's disrespectful toward Mahiru. Isn't that There's right? no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. What the heck? Well... But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. Hey. If Mahiru spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you too, right? Well, Hiyoko... She never talked to me at all. That's weird. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Bye. So, I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now. Uh, hey, Hiyoko. Ignoring my voice, Hiyoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. <laughs> Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided. Now then. Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye now. I'll see you again later. Uh, hey! What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Chiaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime. Let's go over to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best we investigate there, I think. See? She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Mm. Uh, that's your cue to say yes. All right then, well, let's go. I forgot how long this investigation can get. Well, yeah, investigations in general in this game do get on the long side, but that's because you got more stuff to find, and then they like to toss red herrings at you, and then, yeah, you know, not to mention the increased length of the trials, too, so, yeah, you gotta fill up space, I guess. Anyway, this is the Duder's side, so let's go to the Chick's side. We got Mika, we got Chiaki. We got Hyoko, got Kane, got Sonya, got Pekka. Is she really all the way at the freaking end? Okay, wow. How rude. The door looks unlocked. Phew. Moving after you, uh, after your toe would be two third rate, so I made sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no no. There are others who want to investigate too. I guess I should go inside. And this is a new area in the grand scheme of things. Wait, I'm, oh, I see you right there. You ain't sneaky. Compared to my room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting throughout the room. That proves my hero was here. Damn, don't, were you sniffing her like every time? Okay, but she's not coming back. Um. Then I should. Try looking for a naughty book. Why? Yep. Now, now, I was only kidding. Kidding? Are you that kind of person? Geez, well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? 
easy. But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on top of the bed. On top of the bed? Now, first things first, I see right there. No, no, no. You ain't hiding from me. No. Yes. Okay. The envelope. There's an envelope on top of the bed. Hey, hey. Could it be? This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat that game. Um. What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. I turned over the envelope and what came falling out was... A few photos. Ah. ah, this photo. This is a photo of Mikan, Ibuki, and Hiyoko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It, it's just like that game. Yep. There's a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight's True Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Girl A was late. And Girl D tried to cheer her up by taking her picture. Is this the photo she took? She was all photos been added as a truthful section of your handbook. <gasps> Look at this photo too. A broken vase. Why don't I use this as a thumbnail? No, that, that's boring. No, we go for the clickbait here. Is that the same photo Girl D showed Girl Lee on the third day? Oh, that was Chiaki. Is that the same one as the other show, girl, on the third day? As I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. A broken vase photo has been added to truthful the section of your handbook. But still. But this photo was more shocking. As Chiaki showed the photo to me, I was stunned into silence. Hmm. This is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's in the music room. If that's the case, could this be the photo of the first victim? You mean, it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Oh. Yeah, the one they blamed on a pervert. High school girls crime scene photos been added to the truthful section of your handbook. And one more. This is the last photo. Ugh. This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. I mean, it nearly matches her body in the game. See? Yeah, there's no mistake. This is a photo of girl E. Did I screw up voices again? No, no, I did well. Girl E's crime scene photo has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. Mm. With that, we finished looking at all the photos. So, based on all these photos... Yep. Yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for beating Twilight. And what's depicted in these photos... Proves that Twilight Central murder case is based on an actual murder. D does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen? Huh? Huh? What's this? Is there something else? See? There's a note inside the envelope. Try playing Twilight Syndrome. Ever you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. Th this note. Huh, maybe the first person to beat the game and receive the ending prize wasn't Mahiru. Someone else sent this to Mahiru? And that person is the one who actually received the ending prize. Mahiru wasn't just lured there by Nagito, she also received this envelope. Yep. And that's why she played that game, right? Then, the person who played this game first... This envelope looks very familiar. And the word sister written in this note. Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. Any prize been updated in your truth bullet section of the handbook. Took that a minute to load up. 
Uh, it's... Yeah, ending prize. Okay. Uh... Try playing Twilight Syndrome after you get a game over. Right now, five times for the real game. Once you do, you remember y'all did. My sister will talk then. Yeah, um, the ending prize was found in my hero's room. Since my envelope contained four photographs, there was also a letter included in the envelope that says what I just read earlier. Okay. Hey, hey. Yep. I'm glad we came here to investigate because we did that. We discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed my hero, but. There's not much time left. I need to hurry. All right. <laughs> oh, great. Here we are. Hajime and Chiaki. What a coincidence. If something happens twice, third time's the charm, so they say. What coincidence? Are you a stalker or something? Now, now. Don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? To me. I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. Huh. <laughs> Just kidding. I was joking. It didn't sound like a joke to me. Actually. Well, it's about the footprints. The killer left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did, did you find out whose footprints those are? <laughs> if you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Of course. You'll come with me, right? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, if I can get a clue. What are you going to do, Chiaki? Mm. I'm going to try and talk to Fuyuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. So... so I'll leave this to you. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. If someone like me tried to talk to him, it'd be impossible, but it might be different with a girl. Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. Yep. I guess this is where we part. I'll see you later, Hajime. What? Huh? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. Let's go. I'm going to head to the beach house and wait there. Alrighty then, onward to the beach house. I'm just going to go ahead and run there myself so my pet can grow. Just to sweep to make sure there's nobody out here being all suspicious and junk. Alright, see you at the beach house. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, my, my pet. Something's going on with my pet. I don't think that's how snakes lay eggs. Oh, it wants to give you something. Hey! 100 mana coins, ramen -A, and coconut juice. Bye, snake! And that's why you gotta take care of your pets. Just doing that to refresh and it will hatch in 100 steps. Okay then, cool. So yeah, the process is gonna keep repeating. So once that egg hatches, We'll be able to have a new pet that we can grow and cultivate and junk. So I'm going to shoot for a pet that's not snake me this time around. Speaking of which, she just hatched. So yeah, we got Chippy Me again. 1,000 steps until next growth. And... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, like not leave this one up to fate because there is one pet in particular I want to see. Like I, I'm legit curious how this is gonna turn out. Okay, yeah, just wanted to make sure and yeah, two of the pets do give you skills when you hatch them. One I have gotten in the past and I know exactly how to get and I am going to get that pet in this uh, LP. But yeah, one I never got before and I'm actually interested in this. So I'm going to aim for that one for this pet. And also I'm just now discovering that walking is more efficient than running to raise your step count because running gives less steps per minute total. Wow, that's, that's kind of rude. I mean, I'm still going to run, you know, I'm, I'm not changing that, but yeah. So in order to swing things towards 
this particular pet and no it's not shitting me I'm, I'm aiming for no I mean that would be funny but no no I'm not I'm not aiming for that I'm not aiming for that so yeah in order to get this one right off the bat I'm about to spoil you with non-alcoholic wine And then, what else do I have doubles of? Essentially, I'm just about to give you as many presents as possible. So yeah, take that Kokoshibi. And then, take that Iroha t-shirt. And then take that whatever it is gold. And then, oh yeah, we can give you a couple specter rings. This might end up screwing me over for the uh, like actual free time events, but I'll be able to bounce back. Okay, we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, present number seven will be the second button. Present number eight will be desperation. And present number nine will be a gold coated sheath. I think I can go up to 10, but I'm just gonna leave it right here for right now. So yeah, we're good, we're good. All right, so yeah, I spoiled my pet and now we're good to go. I never got this fully evolved pet before, so that's why I'm like really trying to aim for it. Gundam, how's your investigation going? So you have I here. was right. Huh? What happened? I already assumed there. you would come here. Fine. There is nothing you can hide from me. The Supreme Overlord who wields the four dark devas of destruction. Thus I know everything. For instance, I happen to know you fiends. We're preoccupied with your infantile beach play. Nature it matters not, for what I love is silence and solitude. That's right, that's it. That's precisely it. I see. So he wanted to be invited too. Yeah, see, man, y'all mean to Gundam for, for no reason, you know? Like, he got feelings too. I don't know if he would have been as sneaky as you guys in terms of, like, not alerting the girls to what was going on. But he wants to be a part of the group, too. Can't blame him. Can't blame him. Seriously, do they actually show up on the beach? No. No, they don't. Okay. Now then. Let's try going inside. I mean, that's what I was planning to do, but yeah. My. Nagito! Whoa. Whoa, why the hell are you here? Hello there. Why, hello there, Kazuichi. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. What the heck? Look, this bastard. Um. You two have arrived at a good time. Big news. Big news, I've discovered something very terrible. A terrible discovery? Um, not only that, I believe it's nothing like Sonya's, but there's something I noticed too. You too, Mikan? <laughs> yep, this is great. Looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. Okay, first things first. Please let me... Okay, cool. I'm gonna check just to make sure. Yeah, there's no Monokumas in here. You always gotta make, like, be on the lookout 
when you're encountering new areas during the investigation. Why are you in here, Nagito? Uh, oh, wow, that is... That is a mean one. Uh, I've been found. Wow, that I'm actually mad about that. But hey, I now have enough on the dot to purchase the last remaining special items for all the uh, special scenes. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, they got stuff to report on. What's happening, Mikan? Mikan, you had something to say too, right? Um, well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So, so please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it, so just get on with it. Um, I tried my best to perform the autopsy and I was able to find out. Mahiru was definitely killed by a blow to the head. She's probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. <laughs> but every dark cloud is a silver lion, as they say. Um, it looks like Mahiru didn't suffer. What does that mean? Uh, um, there's no doubt that she died instantly. Her death was instant? That sounds a little strange. I think I'd better remember that. Mikan's autopsy report has been added to the truthful destruction of your handbook. Um, and there's another thing I found. Uh, ah, I'm sorry, I started talking on my own. Are you busy right now? Just tell me. Um, during the autopsy, I discovered this in Mahiru's pocket. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place in time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30 p.m. It seems there is someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they start suspecting us for no reason. Hiyoko Sionji. The This letter? If this letter is real, it would mean Hiyoko met up with Mahiru, right? Plus, Mahiru's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m. and they met 30 minutes prior. If we think about what that implies, then... Oh, I'm starting to get confused! If it's true, what does it mean? What happened between Mahiru and Hiyoko? Letter on Mahiru has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. Alright, talk to me, Sonya. Listen, I have big news! Huge, huge news! What's the big news? See? Remember that Sunwitch Esper Ito mask that was next to Mahiru's body? Oh, the Master Killer used to hide their face. Listen. No, that is not correct. That mask was not just used to hide their face. Then, what was it for? Well, Sparkling Justice. Huh. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professed ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. Hey. This Sparkling Justice character. That's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? It's true that the mask we found is a hero mask, but... Wow. It is a heroine mask, to be precise. Sunwitch Esper Ito is a pretty witch girl. See? A heroine. Anyway. Anyway, so you're saying it's possible that this serial killer is the one who killed Mahiru? Which means, there's a serial killer hiding among us. I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video game. Yeah, me too. This is stupid. Serial killer my ass, the killer just used it to cover their face. That's weird. But, even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but... However. Although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonya, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. The hell? Justice complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! 
What the heck was that? Well, that is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase. What? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase. Do you have a minute? I read it in a magazine in the library. There has only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article is written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However, however, in the end, that journalist was punished by Sparkling Justice too. No good could come from getting involved with the serial killer. Wait, then how was the story published? If they got killed, so then what? Oles J killed them and then sent the interview tape to the paper. Oh, all right, fine. Oh my God, is so is, is Sparkling Justice a literal spark? Oh my God, too many S words. So is Sparkling Justice low key a social justice warrior, like an actual one? My God, it all makes sense now. No good can ever getting involved with a serial killer. The serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um, this is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the masks, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? Listen. No, it does not mean they are in our group. It's possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder my hero. Wow. That's probably not possible. I... But that's the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Uh, that one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. S Sonya? I do. I do understand Sonya's feelings, but... It's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. Well, damn, who's there left to talk to? Uh, you? Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out whose footprints those were? Actually, how are you able to find that out? I... After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages. Yep. I told Monica I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. That bastard, he did something shady again. Now then. But why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. Nagito squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. See? Come on, Hajime. Take a look. After all, I went to the trouble of gathering all this. Th those footprints. I see. So the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was... Yep. That's right. I wanted to get a sample of everybody's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiko wouldn't leave his cottage. So I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprints belong to this person. H whose footprints are they? Yep. Hiyoko Sayonji. Hiyoko's? Well... To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself inside her cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps... So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. <laughs> but it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected there was smaller than anyone else's and matched the footprints at the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake. These are Hiyoko's footprints. Footprints on the beach has been updated. Let's check it out. Square, please. Thank you. Yeah, they're right here at the very top. The footprints where Hiyoko's. Wow, that's a pretty straight to the point update. <laughs> okay. Um... Also, it's not like I was stooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting? See? I found a lot of these candies inside her room. That's... They're hmm. gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. Looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently she really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. People are like that sometimes. There are people who only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. 
Well, what's wrong with that? You sound offended, Hajime. Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case. Coming from this guy, that means it probably greatly relates to the incident. Gummy bag has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. Uh-oh. It's time. The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end. <laughs> that line. <laughs> I just love it. I, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm calming down now. I'm calming down. It's such a good line, though. Come now is the time to fight the decisive battle. The hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits. The class trial is finally raising its curtain. So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Like, if it wasn't the most pretentious thing in the world, I would so totally change my, like, Discord nickname or even my Twitter name to Unparalleled Hedonism. <laughs> I, I know that's not much of a nickname, it's more of a concept, but still. I just love that, but yeah, that would be, like, way too pretentious, even for someone like me. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and the killer's hopes will finally clash. But it's all right. Either way, hope will win in the end. All right. Now then, let's go prove it. All right, what's he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make my case there. There is no escape. There is no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house and Mahiru's body. Alright, well, hey, you already put me here on the second island. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Thought I was going the wrong way. Oh, wait, not, not second island. Central island. Our destination is Monokuma Rock. Let's go. Oh, duh. Going the wrong way. On the central island. Central island. Alrighty, just going on over here to the other direction. Even though I probably should be walking because that counts as more steps, apparently. But no. I probably wouldn't even do that on my own time. So, yeah, an LP sign, that's even worse. Alrighty, and just checking one last thing on the pet. Okay, yep, you're doing fine. Alright. Monokuma Rock. crazy to me I'll be ruined Why? hey shut up and stay put you stubborn little Lolita stop hey stop harassing little girls Th this is what's going on Jeez. Hyoko was trying to run away so Monokuma brought her here by force but Hyoko still tried to run away so Monokuma was trying to wrap her in a full Nelson yeah, hey if you don't stay put I'm gonna make you a part of the island's food chain Jeez, bring me waste my sweet ass time. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? That guy, he totally ditched. He totally ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. <laughs> okay, so that happened. Eek! His anger changed. His anger, anger changed his form. I'm right here. <laughs> Look at the level of detail that went into this, though. It's, oh my god! Okay, 
Uh huh. Ah, Liu Hiko, you came. I was worried about you. There's nowhere for me to run anyway, so no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still. I'm a Yakuza. Is having defeat is not an option. Liu Hiko, what does that mean? Well, it's all good. The trial heats up. It's all good. Anyway, anyway looks like everyone's here. So let's depart now. See ya I'll later. go first and meet what's the matter, you guys. This is Good crap. I'm not mentally prepared yet. Like, Do you even have to prepare? Show some you don't have enough power. Harness your latent energy. Come on, bring out that energy. This so it be begins. The, the beginning of the end. End. <laughs> now then, let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find that shining hope. That's right. I can only. Moving forward is the only option. All right, let's talk to everybody. See how they doing, Gundam. <laughs> you should be honored. A mere human such as yourself will be present to witness the beginning of the end. Monami, even though you're not a student. I, I believe in you. If everyone works together, you should be able to stand against any despair. Alrighty. I will definitely help you out. Hiyoko. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this. Mm hmm. Nagito. <laughs> what are you dilly-dallying for? Come on, let's hurry up and go. Pekko, pekko. Then... Let's go. There's no reason for us to waste time here. Sonya Neva. Listen. The truth behind my hero's death. Sparkling justice may hold the key. No, that just has to be it. Chiaki Nan. Cause it's bad. Let's go. We can't forgive the killer. Akane O. Oh my god, there's actually a lot more people left. Okay. Class child stuff again. So this time we gotta figure out who killed my hero, huh? I don't get complicated stuff, so I'll leave this to you guys. Okay, Nekomaru. If you don't unleash your power here, where else are you gonna unleash it? Don't you wanna avenge my hero's death? I I do, I do. Monica would change forms. Color me surprised. Hey, hey! Could he be the type to awaken hidden powers when he gets angry? He's a stuffed animal, right? Kazuichi. Damn it. I'm not really prepared yet. Like, I don't think I'll ever be. We can't just stand around all day. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. Alright, and then two more over here, Mikan. Mahiru. Why didn't Mahiru? This is impossible. And you. I'm a Yakuza. I won't run or hide. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll punk. Monica Marak, here we go. Will the animation play this time? No, it will. Oh, wait. Oh. Almost, so almost. Eek! No matter how many times I see it, it's such bad taste. The worst, the lowest, most brutal taste. Somehow I moved my muscles stiff from fear and nerves and awkwardly walked onto the escalator. For some reason, my breathing was short. I was eventually struck by a feeling similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside Monokuma Rock. Wait, so the animation can only play in like one direction or something? What? Okay, fine. A rumbling sound filled the room and the surrounding space began to fall. As it shook with a clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair. As if my heart was a rotten fruit, swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish. I suddenly stopped breathing. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. And after a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. And then it stopped altogether. Ooh. Ah! Aim! Defeat the boring routine! So... so, I decided to start redecorating. How's it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible. 
It's not like I'd allow you to think otherwise anyway. That is... To go to the trouble of doing this, or doing something this elaborate, really, what is your true intention? No, no. Nothing really. Essentially, this killing game is just to kill time anyway. You. Kill time? Yeah. To break away from my purpose? That alone is my purpose. Lies. A purpose is only going to be a weakness. Those who have a purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. That's why you guys should forget about such cheap-ass purposes like trying to survive. And enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts. It's starting. The class trial is starting. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her. Is among us? I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there is no other way for us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. And we will start this trial next time. I'll save right here, why not? So, thank y'all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more Let's Play Dangarapa 2. Goodbye, despair. Goodbye. And, yeah, you can't purchase the skills like from here but we can go ahead and equip them i'm going to go ahead and equip them now <laughs> i mean i got the skill points for them like your skill points are tied directly to your uh level so yeah i i have a, enough for that and then some all right goodbye oh wait actually i think you can still purchase skill points from right here because you go to the report card and then right there and oh okay well then I was I didn't have to waste time doing the investigation doing that oh well I just wanted to make extra certain okay then <laughs>